So lots of browns. So raw umber, burnt umber, burnt sienna, ivory black, Prussian blue. I don't know if we'll use that. I just, I don't know, might want a cool color or something. Titanium white, naphthol red. I'm going to need to sketch this out because I don't really know what I'm doing. We'll figure it out. I just know there is a. It's an underwater cavern. Or a. It's not underwater. There's water in it, so you can you ride boats through it, which looks pretty fun. I might actually go there someday. There's a little exit at the end, and then might make that a little bigger later. But so here's our exit horizon. Probably should have done this with the car. Maybe we'll do that. Just so it's straight. Straight horizon. This is how I do my horizon lines now. Let's put a card up. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight, just straight enough. There we go. Okay. There's our horizon. Water's down here. I mean, this is. This goes around. Basically, there's a big rock formation that goes up here through the ceiling. There's an opening maybe right here. Another one over there. Lots of those. Uh, where are they? Things that hang from the ceiling in caves. <laughs> and then there's another rock over here. This one's a little. Maybe we'll make them stick out a little bit more. <laughs> this will be tricky. This will be real tricky. But we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. And if I keep saying that, eventually it's true. All right, what do we want to start with? I don't even know what to start with in a cave. We start with the sun first, or the light area, maybe. Tricky. I don't know. Maybe we start with the background colors. That shouldn't be too hard. It's mostly browns anyway, so maybe we do that. Let's start with the, this is raw umber. And the corners, and then work our way down. And it also might not be dark enough either. Say that line was right here. Okay. Just gotta remember where the stuff is. Let's just put this in first. Do a little jiggle. A little brush jiggle. So shaking a bunch. Sorry if that's disturbing you. Alright, we're just putting in a big cavern wall here with a two inch brush. It's already got some natural shading on it as well. I didn't really intend for that, but there's some shading on it, so that's nice. I might want to lighten it up a little bit before going in around this one. Or no, this this would be farther back, so we actually have to make that darker. So let's do that. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to it, though. Blue and umber. Hopefully this is a little darker. And I could use black, but I kind of want it to be on just a little bit of blue. I'm not going to start directly around it because there's going to be light coming out of it. It's going to be kind of like a tunnel, tunnel vision or something. We'll see. Maybe I want a smaller brush for this. This is more precision. I say smaller and I use a one inch brush. I'm 
we just have to get close. We don't have to be exact. And I'll pull out from this with the uh, fan brush, maybe, with some white on it. I do have to fill in this water as well. Probably should have done that before I put in this giant <laughs> umber area. Say those light areas were one right here, maybe. Definitely not up on this wall. I want some contrast here between that brown and this black. There we go. Something like that. areas first. Or big big areas. What well, they call this the blocking in phase. That's kind of what we're trying to do. Blocking in. Okay. What do we want to do with this water? Could pull down a little bit of that black color. Let me pick up some brown. I'll just blend this together. We'll darken it up here in a bit. Maybe we'll just use regular blue. Did you have that have to oil that wood palette when new? The wood palette, I I did. I used, um, I oiled it up a while ago. I forget what I used. And then I covered it with something else. And I can't remember what that was either. <laughs> something that made it well, waterproofed. I thought it would be a good idea. I don't know if it was. It was a long time ago. Just pulling down with this darker color. I want there to look like in the middle there's a light coming. This light's coming out. That's what I'm trying to do. And definitely not enough oil on here. I can tell because you can see the little grains all over the canvas. That's how you know. And there's lots of little grains you didn't put enough. If you're doing this technique, you didn't put enough uh, base layer on. P.S. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Sixty. How's it going? I don't know how to paint caves at all, but we're we're just kind of we're just going. We're just going with it. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna mix a little bit more color and put it in this top corner. And then try to do something about the water down there. Same type of same color mix really. Umber and oops, raw umber and burnt sienna. Or, <laughs> Russian blue, not burnt. Should be a very dark, dark, slightly blue. There we go. I might just use this because I don't want to waste it. Wipe the palette knife off on the canvas. I tried painting along with Diane Andre. It didn't go well. My clouds weren't even visible against the sky. It was majority sky painting. I have that problem a lot. Oh, that's no fun. Diane Andres, she's pretty funny. She's a good artist. One of the Alexander ones. Yeah, they used to have that same problem. My clouds would just turn invisible. 
or something. How did I fix that? I think I just, I used less, I tried to use less pressure because that was one of my problems when I first started painting. So I used way too much pressure. I would just kind of mash the paint in. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing here. So this is probably going to get messed up. And then the second thing that I fixed was just paying attention to how much paint I was putting down. Because so I would just add mountains of paint to everything and everything would just mush together. Which I still do sometimes, but at least now I know I'm doing it. If that makes sense. I'm going to add more blue. I'm going to add more blue to this. I'm going to do the water. I'm going to make it blue. More blue. Sorry. I'm gonna add white here. I know I said I was trying to save it, but we're just gonna we're just gonna add white to lighten it up. stroke isn't even, it's not even going into the canvas at all. Not an, over here, it's way less effort, but over here, I really gotta push it. I think I just picked up some oil from that was stuck here though. Alright, we fixed it. Ish, fixed it a little bit. We got like base colors filling this spot. I guess I can use the same color that I was using over on the other side. Be consistent. Maybe a little bit darker. Maybe not. I don't know. This would be another rock. closer so I don't have to be a little white. Okay. So there's part of a cave. We got the main areas and I think that's half the battle. Now we gotta figure out how to highlight them a little bit. Davies method. Yeah, he's really good too. Paul's here. Hey, Paul. This is uh, Penn Cave in Pennsylvania. I don't really know how to paint caves, but we're trying it out. We're going to see what happens. folks have stuff going on I don't I don't mind if it takes them it takes them some time to get in or if they watch later just leave a comment that's fine too all right we gotta figure out what to do here I'm not really sure uh, what do we want to do Wait. let's put it area back here. This is the tunnel entrance. I'm just coloring it a little bit so the light stands out. Instead of it just being a solid white white blob. Now we can we can add stuff around it. 
Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if I want to use a palette knife for this or just a filbert or a fan brush. Maybe we'll use a filbert. Alright. Is this burn number? I'm going to start adding in some, some rock shapes. I don't know how to hold the brush here. putting in some rocky looking shapes and it should mix with the blacks and make like a kind of darkish brown type deal. We really just need areas of dark because that's the only thing we're going to have in a cave. Big dark blobs and then some stalagmites or stalactites. One or the other. probably can't even see any of this. And there is a skylight here that I want to add it in there. So we'll just add these in first. These just gonna look like blobs for a bit. <laughs> Big old blobs. Shapes, getting some shapes in. Hey, one droops down here. He's a big one. One there. Oh, there's a spot. They gotta be connected. <laughs> you gotta make sure they're still connected. Otherwise, they look really weird. Okay. And then maybe some back here, but. Not much pressure, just a little bit. Some right here. Again, not much pressure. Back here, I don't even want to see anything. Okay. I'll look him up. Tend to overthink and stress about the whole process. <laughs> oh no, don't be stressed. <laughs> is that inside or outside the cave? So this is inside the cave so you've you've boated into one side and then this is the other side that you're going into <laughs> if that makes sense so you're like riding your little boat around and then you're gonna go out there Nate is so relaxing love watching you paint man thanks Tommy you've gained like 45 subs since you started shorts oh yeah there's a lot of uh, a lot of new people like Bob Ross, he's a relaxing voice to unwind when I'm stressed or just trying to relieve a headache. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. Paint your dream world here. Hello. Hello, hello. I don't know if we need to do anything else here. These are just kind of ceiling rock shapes. Maybe we can do something back here, but I'm not worried about it yet. Blend the edges. Blend. Okay. Let's see what we want to do with this ceiling. I still don't know. We're just figuring stuff out on this one. <laughs> really have no idea. There's a bug that just flew in the window. Mm. Get some white here. We're gonna start highlighting some of these walls. What is this? Burn number? Burn number and white. Alright, let's try. Let's try and not not mess everything up. Let's start up here because this is kind of the easy area. It just has to look kind of like a rock. Well, that didn't go terribly, so let's do another one. Some right here. 
little bit there. There's some right here. It's kind of like painting an inverse mountain. It's very difficult. A lot different than what I'm used to. I should just flip it over and, <laughs> and do a regular mountain. Might be a little easier. All right, I'm gonna highlight this side here. I do have to add in the bright spots. But maybe I'll do that next. Because there's gonna be a... There's gonna be a really bright spot here because it's like a hole. There's a hole in the ceiling of the cave. And it illuminates up here down into the water. And then you've got light back there as well. It's a very interesting place. I've never been, but I do want to go now that I've looked at it. some there. I don't know what this thing is doing back here, but we'll figure it out. And back here, I don't really want to do anything. Nate rocking the shorts. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know what I'm doing with the shorts, to be honest. Erica's here. Erica LeMay. Hello. <laughs> Just Nate. LA versus Memphis. Ooh, writing. That sounds fun. I haven't written anything in a while. Let's add in these bright spots. Where the light comes through. Right here. Okay, there's one. These are just blobs of paint for now. There's another one here. Maybe one up here. Just keep <laughs> smacking it in there. Okay, now we got our blobs. Which way do we want it to go? This way. Pull it the way we want it to go. I'm gonna mix this together a little bit. Fuzz it up, and then I'm gonna add in some more uh, some more browns behind it, so it looks less less like giant fireflies and more like holes in the ceiling. General shapes still matter, but not doing anything exact. All right, let's fill this in. Oops. I don't know if I went into brown or burnt sienna, but either one's fine. As long as we got some light here. these longer. I don't know. I just want to make them longer and bigger. And we'll highlight them. Probably highlight them the same that I highlighted. Uh, mountains. I don't know. Okay. This is too, this is too curved. Let's straight. Let's mess it up a little bit. I don't like how curved that was. I think that's all we need. I'm gonna stop right there. Your Lake Hygler short already has 1.3K views. Oh, that's good. I try not to look at the views, they stress me out. I just look at the um, comments. If I have my little bell has a thing, that's all I care about. 
the other stuff. I don't, I don't want to think about it. Because <laughs> I don't know if they're real people or just bots. I have been getting a lot of bots too. And everyone knows how I feel about bots. Alright, let's highlight some of these guys. I don't know how to highlight a stalactite or whatever this is. How do you highlight these? They gotta look round, right? Pull from the right, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Some back here. This one. Ooh, that one got a lot bigger. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. some on these ones back here but not as much just a little bit mostly might be some on this one just towards the top and then a little bit on the this top edge here a little bit too much easy to fix just go over it again see any of these. These are going to be really dark. Oh, I can't see this. <laughs> oh well. We tried. Alright. Nate, have you ever tried cleaning your brushes with non liquid and soft bristle toothbrush? It keeps the bristle straight and clean. I haven't tried Dawn. Well, not straight Dawn. I used to use, um, what did I used to use? It was a mixture that the Alexander Art folks put up. What was that? It was like Dawn dish soap and uh, vegetable oil. That's what it was. Dawn dish soap, vegetable oil, and water. But I haven't used the toothbrush. I can definitely try that out. Landmass on the right needs some plane separation to give more 3D effect. Landmass on the right. Yeah. I'll work on that. Almost, I'm just focusing on the ceiling right now. Finish up the ceiling and then work down. Same this one over there. I think this is mostly good enough there. There's not too much on the top going on. That's too, it's way too light now. Other than some minor shadow light. Or not shadow light. That's not a word, is it? Not ambient light. Is that the word? I don't know. Ambiance. Ambience. All right, what do we need to do? I'm gonna throw in some light on this one. Fan brush. This will probably ruin everything, but we'll try it. coming from the outside. here and then there's a bigger rock over here but okay 
That's probably fine for now. I don't want to overthink it. I was re-looking at your website and I want to buy more paintings, except I'm broke. The whitish water looks like it's going under the landmass. Whitish water. Oh, right here. Yeah. Or over here. Yeah. Already have my paintings taking up a lot of room. Yeah. I have too many paintings. Too much stuff in general. You gotta, gotta work on cleaning up. Stop hoarding. Alright. Let's start pulling some white through. bright light at the front and I gotta pull this down. Like Bob Ross, Nate is so relaxing, I have to watch myself, especially tired of falling asleep. You can bring down the land like a cliff at that area. Over here? Yeah. It's hard to tell what people are talking about because there's like a two minute delay. Or a 30, 45 second delay. But I might just use the palette knife for this. We've already blocked in the paint there. Here we go. The shape was already there, so we know how to make it a bigger rock pretty easy with the palette knife. Might add some black to that backside here. edges there. Maybe we'll make another little cliff right in here. Maybe a little bit more paint right here. Blend that together. A little rock here. There we go. Blend that. I'll puncture a hole in the canvas. I can't see if it's filled in with paint. Okay. Alright, we got one there. And you probably can't see the um, little palette knife edges here. That's what I'm using to gauge where my actual rocks are. Here, we got one cute. Gotta wrap up the bottom there. Right here. And then I'll use some white to make it look like this is water is moving here. Alright, we got a rock there. We got one rock here. One back there. This is just the same numbers. And a little bit of black. Because this is the farthest back we can go. I might just move it in all the way. Why not? Okay. Let's scrub that in. There we go. Pizza guy here, gotta go. Bye. All right, see you, Uncle Sixty. 
No worries. All right. Now I'll do a little bit of highlights on the, the edges. Probably that same color. Something like that. All right, let's just do this top edge first. Where the light's going to touch. So we got the light from this and a little bit from that. A lot right here. It's going to be hard to aim it. There we go. I gotta pick up some more. This one right there. Okay. And now we just kind of fill in the rest. Just kind of pull it in rocky ways. What do I mean, rocky ways? You know, just little bumps. Little bumps and grooves. Nice and loose. No pressure. A lot of raw umber, so I might just start going into some sienna. I get make it a little, a little red, a little, little red flavor. Did I say sienna or umber? I meant sienna. So. Sorry, I'm getting the colors all mixed up today. That's okay. All right, let's put a big rock up top here. These ones are going to be mostly dark because they're in the shadows. Pull straight down. Make it look steep. There. I do want a little bit of a highlight on this edge here, right there. Make it stand out just a little bit, or a lot of it. Either one. There we go. And some back in here. There we go. Do you have any painting ideas for Tennessee? I do not. I have one, the only one that I have is um, I think Rich or Richard for West Virginia. He wanted Dolly Sod's Wilderness, so that's the only thing that I got really planned for States we have left. None of that many. Not too many. All right. Just putting in a rock here. Rocky shape. A little bit more light on the edge than I was using. Just, but it's still kind of in the dark. Not too much on that back side. I got too much white in there. I don't know where that's coming from. There we go. Gotta fix up this one too. Just kind of pulling to the left and then down. It gives it a rocky looking texture. I was thinking the song Rock Top. Tennessee. Yeah. This is Rock Top. That is an actual place. I can do that one pretty easy. Or not easy, but I can do that one. <laughs> None of this stuff's easy, I feel like. I think in my head that it's easy, and then I start getting into it. I'm like, oh, I might have, I might have overcommitted here. Is that bad? I don't care about these rocks. They're just here. They're just here to be here. That bug's doing something back there. Knowing me, it's a stink bug because they've been getting in, landing on my paintings. And then they get stuck. And I gotta pull them off. And I get my hands all stinky. These are not very nice bugs. Dark and pull straight down. 
make it look steep. I think I already said that. Pull them down, make it look steep. I don't want much light there, though, so if I have any lights, I'm just scraping them off, especially down here. I don't want any of that. Here we go. There's our uh, big rocks on the right. we got to do one on the top. Amazing what details can do in art piece. Sometimes they can make a break. <laughs> yeah, they really can. That's a good one. He should do it with the song playing low. <laughs> I don't know if I can play the songs without getting YouTube by it, man, but we'll see. All right, let's, uh, let's throw in this. I don't think there's blue water in this, in the actual cave. It's more like a thalo green type deal. But I don't think it hurts anything. Oops. Scraped it all off. This is just Prussian blue and uh, white. I just want to put something next to the uh, rocks. I don't even know if you... Is this even showing up? I don't think it's showing up. See if this works. Probably not. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna have to pull this with the uh, fan brush. Okay. Paul's gotta go. Be back soon. Oh, no worries. No worries. Some of that white over. Actually, it looks kind of nice. All right, let's blend these together. Hope my head's not in the way. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. There's a. Uh, I think this side's okay. Not the best, but good enough. Good enough for a little painting. First cave painting. All right, now we gotta do this left side. Make sure this edge is dark, dark enough. Using the risky side of the palette knife. Make sure we get it all the way along the side. No any weird gaps, weird light spaces, you know. Maybe like right there. And it's okay to flip the palette knife over. When I first started, I never flipped it over. I always used one side, and I always put my hand in a weird position to try and get it right. But you really can use any side of the palette knife you want to. it works.
light there on the edge. Alright, it's starting to look kind of like a tree. Can we put an indoor tree? Camp in there for a couple of days. <laughs> yeah, it'll be cool. I'm just gonna start. Do I have a blender brush? It might work better than a fan brush. I just want to blend this edge a little bit, make it look fuzzy. Same with that edge. Kind of want to put some stalactites on this thing now. I might ruin it though. I don't want to ruin it. Some might say I've already ruined it. All right, let's get this bottom corner. Oop, hit the fan. Oh well. <laughs> I've never used that fan anyway. This is the uh, paint the fence technique. Big, big strokes up there. I'm gonna put some stalactites here. I decided. I decided I'm gonna do it. Some fire to barbecue. <laughs> yeah, that would be fun. Indoor barbecue. Let's do it. All right. What are we mixing here? White. Whatever color that was. All the umbers mixed together. We need this to stand out a little bit, but it's at the front, so we don't want it to be like a blazing light. out front in my bushes. He's been there probably two years. I don't know. Might be a different rabbit, but he's always in my front yard. Alright, let's do this edge up here. Just kind of pulling these around. I think it look like there might be a rock formation or something up there, but there's, I can't really tell. It might be. I'm gonna just pull it down here. Ooh, that was way too bright. Darken them up, just keep going over it. Okay. I might come back in here and highlight some of this other stuff, but let's add in a few more of those stalactites over there. Kind of looks like the light's going through into some back area. Fire, fishing, and a fly, camping. <laughs> Hard to see the emojis from over here. I like it. All right, let's see. How big do we want these to be? These are our last ones. Probably will never paint these again, but maybe we will. Just make them huge, why not? They're just rocky icicles, basically. I'm using the script liner in that same, uh, it's the color we use for the background here. I could use oil here too, but I don't really, I don't think it's necessary. Because we already put oil down on the canvas there. Oh, that one went to the side. We can make him look like he's another one, a third one. Maybe make him a little bigger. And these are all joined together. There we go. 
And then one more back here. Alright, that's it for these guys. Blend that together a little bit. There. Alright, now we just gotta highlight them. There's our uh, cave. Let's see. What do we highlight these with? White. They're kind of in the foreground, I guess, so we don't want to make them too blazing, blazingly bright. But just a little bit. Roll, roll to the left, make them look curved. That's my trick. Just kind of twist. <laughs> that looks makes stuff look curved. I don't know. There's probably a better way to do it, but that's what I found works for me. a little bit more the white I don't know if this is going to work just need one more just on these front ones maybe this back one too maybe just take it out All right, and I'll do maybe a little bit more highlight and on this left side, around the tops of the, uh, of those. Someone needs to tell me if they're called stalagmites or stalactites. If they're above or below, because I can't remember. There was, a, there is a difference though. If they're above or below the, oh my gosh, that's way too much work. Crisis, crisis. Yeah, we're fine. You just come up here and kind of move stuff around. And it all works out. See, now I just got a big ceiling rock up here. And then we'll do some over on this one. And some up here on this edge. Edge. Already did that one, but some right here. Picking up too much of the dark color. Mm, let's see. Some right here. Okay. For this painting, at least, I can always come back and add more things. But stalactites are on top, stalagmites are on the bottom. <laughs> Thanks. Stalagmites are on top. Oh, there are some on the bottom, aren't there? Oh no, we didn't add any bottom ones. Maybe they all dripped into the water. We can do one over here, maybe. <laughs> gotta be, gotta be somewhat accurate, right? how you ruin your painting at the very end. South Dakota, Mount Rushmore, oh my gosh. I don't think I could do Mount Rushmore, but maybe we could. What state is this? This is Pennsylvania, Texas, the Alamo. Oh, I'm sure Paul, yeah, Paul's got a bajillion ideas, I'm sure. We already did, uh, what was that one? We did one Texas one. I think it was called Big Bend. Big Bend part. All right.
right, this is the, wait, which one's on the bottom? Stalagmite. This is, these are the stalagmites. <laughs> we did the stalactites. I don't even know if you can see this one. I might darken this up down here a little bit more. Now that we've added that in, looks a little funny. Oops. Two inch brush, one inch brush. Might be too dark or too much. shape with the palette knife. Won't be able to see it very much, but we'll know it's there in spirit. I think this is a little bit of black and a lot of, or a lot of black and a little umber, mostly black. There's a hair in there. Okay. All right. <laughs> I think we're done with this one. That was fun. Fun, uh, fun subject to paint. For Texas, just do something with longhorns. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be fun. getting my oil out in the uh, script liner. Map's all red. We'll sign it. Call it a day on this one. It was fun though. Definitely a challenge. Definitely put on the uh, bravery pants do this one. Okay. Two, three. All done. That bug's gonna fly in my face, I'm sure of it. Great job. Thanks. Utah Arches National Park. Yeah, I'll check that one out for sure. All right, here's this one. Definitely difficult, but we managed to make something. Pen, Pen Cave, Pennsylvania.